Hi, this is Tai Chi, and today I'm coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee. Um, a few years ago, when I decided to take a different, take a journey that would bring me to where I am today, I met wonderful woman, Sh uh, Shannon in Chicago, who then introduced me to Des Stevens in Nashville. And you know, some people would say it's a co coincidence. I don't think it happened by accident. It happened by Providence. And I'm here today because Des brought me to Cherie. Cherie Spoltori, yeah. thank you so much for for uh, being for allowing sure. me to have you as a guest here. Well, I'm excited about being here with you and all of your viewers and I'm really excited more than anything about this new path that you have about inspiring people to work in their purpose. That's very exciting to me. Thank you. You know, one thing that uh, when I first uh, had a mm -hmm. session, my first session, and um, uh, Sheree has Global Songwriter. Right, Global Songwriter's Connection. Yes, and I, uh, I came in and I was expecting you to analyze my songs and to ask right. about my music and all that. But you really uh, opened, you guided me on this journey and what I really appreciated right. is that you focused on my husband, on my right. marriage, on my sons right. and made sure that that was the journey that I was on, right. that whatever I did would honor that and that is so right. different from when people mm -hmm. think about music right. and movie industry. Right. Um, so I really appreciated that. I think it's I think it's so important. I've worked in the industry for a long time, and often when we start a journey that involves our life purpose, we when we're inspired, which is one of your beautiful words that you use, which the root word of that is in spirit. Um, it is an all-consuming thing, and it's a driving focus for us, and we get in the zone. And when we do that, we can often zone out our family unintentionally. And so I love preventive, what I call preventative management on the front end so that we can keep our family included in everything that we do so that when we have success, and you will have success, we're going to help you today with some of those things, that you can still have your family on the other end to share that success with. Exactly, because the success, if you ruin your marriage and your family, and it's, your not fam a, that's it, right. it's not a success. And you have a beautiful family, by the way. I do, I'm yes. very blessed. Yes. So the, the three words that you know are so mm -hmm. <laughs> uplifting and inspiring to me are um, mm -hmm. encourage, equip, and empower. Right. But I also want to, you know, I know there's a lot of people that I um, have connection with. Sure who really I want to inspire them and right. empower them. Well, I love what you're doing with your uh, Tai Chi TV. We're not just telling people what to do, but how to do it, which is equipping you and empowering you. A lot of people are out there, you know, they're motivating, they're a motivational uh, speaker. And my desire is not to just be a motivational speaker, which I do that, uh, um, you know, but to be informational. And here's why, because motivation will last for a moment. You leave and you're all excited and you're motivated. But the minute you hit a roadblock, it is information, real information, that will make an instant impact and help you to get over that roadblock. So come up with your own three words like Tatiana has already done for us. <laughs> uh, and this may be a diversity crisis here, but especially as women sometimes with our children, our jobs, house and everything, it's real easy to get off track. And then we often look for validation of what we're doing on the outside and we have to find validation on the inside. So fear is a huge, huge thing. Yes, I did a whole episode on fear and right. that's such a huge subject. You know, there's right. for me, one of the things was fear of commitment. I watched that episode and I love that episode and I, I actually wanted to talk just a little bit about that. I wanted to share some of the things that, that about fear. Here's what kind of what happens with us with fear. You have either th these three kind of responses, either action, inaction, or a reaction. So I'll show you action. Maybe you're going to lose your job. So you really move into action to really work or fear about moving into something and you get really busy, but that doesn't necessarily mean productive, right? And so another thing is in action. You uh, feel paralyzed by fear. You suddenly, you can't speak. You're about to speak in front of a group and like me with these cameras rolling, suddenly <laughs> you get a little nervous or whatever and you can't speak or a reaction, maybe you're gonna sing in front of someone and you'll notice that your palms get sweaty, your, your throat gets shaky. And I, I wanted to share just some of the effects of fear in our life. 
Fear torments the mind, keeps us from taking advantage of opportunity, causes us to look for the worst in circumstances and in ourselves rather than the best. It can bring, uh, it steals our courage and our confidence. It leads to procrastination. Yeah, for all of us, we like, oh, how am I going to do that? So one of the things, do you mind if I share a little tip with your viewers Absolutely. on something I have found that has really been helpful? And it's, I'm very childlike uh, in my approach to life. And I call it play opposite day. If fear says you will not be successful on your new path, I encourage you to say the opposite. The right people are on my path to help me. The right people are showing up to assist me in my new path. Whatever fear or doubt says, say the opposite. And you need to say that at least 60 to 120 days to break the neural net of those voices that speak over and over. It's called retraining your brain. Retrain your brain by saying whatever is the opposite over and over again. And then as you move forward, I have to do this all the time, but you'll find you get over one hurdle and then there's something else will come up, you know? But I hope that that would be of some service to you uh, that are out there, the viewers, is just play opposite day. And then I can also help them with the sheet about goal setting, just to really put down, it's a very simple little worksheet to put down what will help them. Yes, and I, I you know, for, for the, thanks for bringing this up. This is a great, great tool. Thank you. You know, and, and I am the kind of person that out of fear and out of, and right. I'd say it's, more, it's, it's a lot of self-doubt. And you're right. right. We've been trained to, to, right. to, 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 to have all of this fear, which is, which is different than the good fear that says, okay, there's smoke, there's fire, I got to sure. run out. Right. You know, but, um, you know, this fear, this self-doubt fear, I usually just, you know, put my more work on my table and okay, right. I'm just going to work, work, work and, you know, not. Right. So I lose focus. Right. And you mentioned that. Right. So what do you... Focus, have? a lot of times people will, then that's why I want to give this worksheet. Once you do this simple, it's a very simple worksheet, it will help you to stay focused. And I'm a creator. I'm a singer-songwriter at the end of the day. So as my family would share with you, if I would go, whoops, there went a butterfly. And yet I have a business to run. I have a purpose and a desire in my life to encourage and equip and empower people to be about their life purpose, and uh, especially in the music industry. So I have to keep, and you can see my vision board is in front of me that I say every day. Uh, I will keep my goals in front of me, uh, my checklist, and uh, you're gonna get this little sheet that will help you. But those kinds of things will help you to stay, especially because life gets in the way. The, the children go into school, you've got this concert, you've got, um, but you know what happens is when we start working Working in our gifts, when we begin to truly work into our authentic self, we need to do it like a business with a quarterly profit and loss statement, right? So that we can truly see, are we just being busy or are we truly being productive and making a difference uh, and doing what we want to do? And so, being really honest. Being that's where, honest. you know, that's a fear of uh, what if I'm, I'm completely honest with myself? Right. Will I uncover things that I might not like about myself? Oh, yes, other we will. <laughs> Other people will not like, <laughs> right, right. but that, that's also the beauty of where the self-growth comes. Sure, and then sure. we're constantly growing, constantly becoming aligned with our purpose right. and who we're meant to be right. in this world. So all of your viewers out there, we're hoping that, that you're working and taking these steps with us because we're working on it, right? And we're providing, <laughs> Sherry's going to provide this wonderful tool for all of you. Yes. This is so wonderful. Good. And you know, you're going to do a song for us, right? Yes, I am. Right. And in that song, I just love how you turned, you know, something really hard right. to a beautiful gift. Thank and you, thank I you. just get goosebumps when I just was just thank you. Thinking Hopefully, about it. some of your viewers can uh, relate to this. And you know, that's what all of us. We mentioned roadblocks before. Usually, the thing that you feel is your greatest roadblock is actually what is your stepping stone. And I encourage people: you're, there are no limits to your dreams. You can't. There's. You're never too young. You're never too old. You're never too tall. Too thin. Too, whatever it may be. You're right where you need to be, and everything that you've learned has brought you to this place, to this space, 
to fulfill and to walk into your purpose. Transitioning isn't easy, is it? It comes with those little voices, right? And so hopefully we've been of service to help you to move forward. Music is tremendously powerful. It really can bring that change and, and really make a shift in your heart. So um, here's a beautiful song by Cherie and her husband's gonna play the guitar yes. and it's called The Best of You. Cool. Thank you so much and thank y'all for listening. Hope you enjoy.
Sherry is a gift, truly a gift that would encourage, equip, and boy, does she empower you. Absolutely. Thank you for watching.